Hi everybody, it's Richard here again and welcome to another video. This is again my third video in three days. Uh, but this is a response video to a thread that uh, James Griffiths uh, set up um, to name a hard rock album from the years 1970 to 1980. But before I start, I want to give uh, a bit of a shout out to a new channel um, called Gatefold33. The guy's name is Dale. He's been commenting on my videos for quite a while uh, and very regularly as well. Um, he also comments on a lot of other people's videos so you will actually recognise um, his little thumbnail. So he's actually started over the past week. He's made about six or seven videos already. Um, I think he's just trying to get through a backlog of albums he's bought in 2020. So. Yeah, nice guy, decent guy, speaks well, um, so check him out, I'll put a link below. Okay, oh, this thread was a bit more of a challenge to me than anything, because um, I'm not the biggest hard rock fan, so some of these <clears throat> some of these choices would be, veer maybe more towards the pop rock, some maybe slightly towards, well, one maybe slightly towards prog rock. But um, if the pass marks 5 out of 10, I think I'll pass. So we'll start off with 1970 and the move. And this is looking on. Now, this is not really hard rock. It's more heavy rock. It's real ploddy, thumpy, uh, heavy sort of rock, basically. Um, there's things like Brontosaurus, if you know that song, or even uh, looking on. It's, it's, it's quite slow, it's, it's quite tedious actually, it's not one of their best, but um, it is quite heavy, so Feel Too Good is another one off this. So uh, The Move, which featured Roy Wood and Jeff Lynne from 1970, and this is my battered old double copy, which has Shazam, another album from 1970, but it's more on the slightly veered towards uh, pop rather than hard rock. So 1970, the move, looking on. Uh, 71, and I've another one that I'm struggling with. Brain Capers by Mott the Hoople. And this is before they went all glam. And now this has got the fantastic rock and riff of My Death Be Your Santa Claus. I've mentioned this before in other videos. I think it was fantastic. Sweet Angeline's great song. Um, it's hard to read these. The Journey is an epic song. So... Yeah, this would be one of the more heavier, uh, but it is actually quite accessible as well. So it's my choice from 71. I wanted to put Led Zeppelin 4, but James did that, and I'm trying my best not to repeat any of his, which makes it more difficult. Uh, on Safer Territory, Deep Purple's Machine Head from 1972. This is brilliant. Um, Highway Star, Lazy, Pictures of Home is a personal favourite. And of course, Smoke on the Water. Um, I only own is it three studio albums by uh, by Deep Purple, this uh, Fireball and In Rock, and uh, I've also got the Deepest Purple album as well, which is excellent. But I'm going to explore a little bit more, I think. So, 1972, Deep Purple's Machine Head. 73, and I'm going to give it the status quo. Hello, James uh, mentioned Quo for 75, so I'll go with 73. Really, this is a good heads down, uh, head banging album. Caroline's fantastic song, Roll Over Lay Down, must be one of the uh, best head banging songs ever. Um, 4,500 times, Blue Eyed Lady. It's a really, really good album. It's up there with one of the best, so status quo. Hello, 1973. I've got the number one in the charts as well. 74 and I really wanted to include these guys for 73 but James did it again so I'm going to go with Queen 2 and this veers off a little bit into the prog rocky side but whenever you've got Brian May in the bands you do have a heavy element uh, things like Father to Son you know I think it was a very very heavy song Ogre Battles uh, by um, Freddie Mercury and of course March of the Black Queen an absolutely fantastic album from 74 75 and we have Led Zeppelin's Physical Graffiti. Um, I'm not overly familiar with this. I've only played it a few times but standouts for me are Custard Pie, Cashmere, 
obviously it's one of their most famous songs in my time of dying is very bluesy and the um, i think quite catchy houses of the holy why it was never on the previous album houses of the holy as anyone's guess so that's sub 75 uh there's that one physical graffiti okay 76 and probably the heaviest album i'm showing well i think it is is the sweet give us a wink now this goes at a million miles an hour it's heavy as hell um, there's two singles off this action and lies in your eyes but you do get real heavy materials such as cockroach uh, white mice um, yesterday's rain and there's a song called healer now if any band names a song called healer you know you're not going to be dancing around the coffee table you know it's some bloke bare chested long hair uh, singing to the skies it's your your typical sort of heavy song so this is a really strong album uh, but as i say it's probably the sweet's heaviest of the lot so this is give us a wink from 76. 77 and very very popular album but it is quite heavy in parts and that's bad out of hell especially the title track and the guitar on it um, a lot of people slag this off i think this is brilliant i don't give a damn it's an absolutely fantastic album yes it's been overplayed but if you leave it for a long time and you play it again you realize how good it is um just looking at this um bad out of hell is probably the heaviest song on it so it's actually more a pop rock album than anything but still it gets in before 1977 1978 is a real push and uh, I've really struggling and I've had to put this one in them and this is The Runaways last album and now The Runaways they are quite a heavy group They're, the previous two albums were a little bit more heavy than this but unfortunately the years were taken um, yeah they do a cover of Mama We're All Crazy Now by Slade and it's um saturday night specials is quite a heavy song like joan jett and herself has went quite heavy as well like you know it wasn't just pure pop but this is definitely more on the pop side than the hard rock side so no choice but to put it in the runaways at 78. okay uh 1979 and rainbow down to earth and i know very little about this album apart from the two singles um all night long and uh, since you've been gone this was my brother's copy he gave it to me so i really would need to play it sometime um as i say don't know much about it i've also got rainbow rising which again jim showed but there you go so rainbow down to earth for 79 and the first one to get on the list was 1980 and i think most people if they ever do this thread would have this acdc's but back in black um, uh, this I only heard this for the first time. Uh, it was about a year and a half ago when I bought this. Uh, it's a really, really good album, and I have two other ACDC albums, uh, Power Edge and um, if, is it, if you want, oh, I can't remember the name of it. For those, I don't know. It's the one with um, whole lot of Rosie on it, which is quite good as well. From '77, I think. Can't remember the name, but yeah. ACD, this is a fantastic album, uh, Back in Black, great song, Hell's Bells, and I do love You Shook Me All Night Long, and the one I remember the most in the charts actually is Rock and Roll Ain't Noise Pollution, which they used to play quite a bit whenever I was at youth club, so yeah, ACDC, Back in Black, so that's my feeble attempt at 11 uh, hard rock albums, I just don't have, I'm not just the biggest hard rock fan at all, um, if they did um, 11 serious pop albums, I could, no problem, no problem, or 11 glam rock albums, no problem. Anyway, that's me for now. Um, I hope you jump on this thread. Um, I hope to have another video quite soon, but maybe not so soon because I'm firing these out far too quickly. Okay, that's me. All the best now and stay safe. Cheers. Bye.